Hello, Algebra Topics, and welcome to the review for Unit 1 test for our class for October 26th. Um, what I would like you to do is actually write this down in your notebook. So the things that we're going to talk about today is adding and subtracting integers, solving one-step equations, combining like terms, distributive property, and solving two-step equations. So if you would, start by writing the four, first four problems in your notebook for right, adding and subtracting integers, and then practice those. Okay, check the answers that you have for the first three, and then in a moment, the Ed Puzzle will pause and ask you to answer the answer for the fourth one. Now copy the four one-step equations into a notebook and try those. You can pause this video so you have time to solve those questions. Check your answers on the first two. On the third one, it is two times x equals 18. What is the operation that's going on? It is multiply, so opposite of multiplication is division. So you're gonna divide by two, and then balance, do you want the same thing on both sides? So you'll divide by two. Two divided by two is one. So you're left with one X equals 18 divided by two, which is nine. Now try the fourth one on your own. The Ed Puzzle will pop up and you can answer that. This one is a little trickier because this says X divided by two equals six. So to get that x by itself, you need to do the opposite. The opposite of division is multiply. So you're going to multiply by 2, multiply by 2. So you're really left with x over 2, 2 over 1. The x is cancel, the 2's cancel out, so you're only left with x equals 6 times 2 is 12. Okay, please co copy down the three combining like terms and try those on your own. Remember, there is no equal sign for the combining like terms and distributive property, so we're not doing an answer. We're just getting it to simplify or the smallest answer possible. Okay, check your answers for the first two. I have circled some of the similar or like terms to help you. Now try the third one on your own. Since there are two colors in this problem, you know that there should be two terms in your Ed Puzzle answer. You should have gotten 4x minus 4. Okay, write down the three distributive property problems and try those. Okay, check your work for those. And on the third one, you make sure that you are distributing the 6 to the 2 terms inside and answer next. Now you may copy down the three solving two-step equation. You may pause the video so you may finish writing that. Okay. Check your answers on those, the first two. On the third problem, make sure that you know that that five is x over five. So right here, that is division. So what is opposite of division? You may enter your Ed Puzzle answer now. So to get that by itself, you're going to multiply by 5 and multiply by 5. So you end up with x over 5 times 5 over 1, and the 5s cancel out. But you still have the plus 7 that you brought down. So you're left with x plus 7 equals negative 3 times Oops, I totally did that wrong. Okay, I realized I made a mistake, so let's start again. Draw your railroad tracks. First, move what is far away from the x, so that is the positive seven. So it is opposite of positive seven, it's minus seven. So do the opposite and balance. So this cancels out. What I'm left with is x over five equals, what's negative three minus seven, negative 10. Just like I said before, this is divide. 
So I need to do the opposite. So that's multiply it by five, multiply it by five. This becomes X. So X equals negative 50. Okay. Copy those six problems down, please. And there's a bonus if you want to try that one. Check your answers on the first two and then try the third problem. It's five plus 10, parentheses x plus two equals negative 35. So the first thing you need to do is the distributive property. So we haven't done anything with the five yet, so we're gonna leave it there. We are gonna multiply the 10 times the x, we're gonna get 10x. And multiply the 10 times the two, we're gonna get 20 equals the 35. Here's where you wanna combine like terms. What terms can be combined? The five and the 20 both look the same. So I can combine them. So I have 10x plus 25 equals 35. Now it's like all of our other problems, we're just gonna do the opposite. But start by moving what is far away from the x first, and that's the 25. So I'm gonna subtract 25 from both sides. Do opposite and then balance. So I'm left with 10x equals, what's 35 times minus 25? It's 10. 10x equals 10, divide by 10, divide by 10, x equals one. I hope that is the answer that you wrote in the Ed Puzzle. Now let's try the other three. You can check your answers for the first two and then try the third on Ed Puzzle. Like always, we start by drawing the railroad tracks and then we have to decide which way do we want to move things. So because I see a positive x on the right side, I am gonna move the negative four x over to the right. So I'm going to do opposite by doing positive four x and balance positive four x. Now I can combine my like terms. This ends up being zero. So all I'm left with on this side is three equals 18 plus five x. I still have too many terms left there for 18. Too many terms left on the right side. So the 18 I wanna move. I'm going to subtract 18 and I'm going to subtract 18 for balance. So I'm left with negative 15 equals 5x divide by five, divide by five. This cancels out to gives us one x equals negative three. So that should be your answer. We could, if you'd like to continue listening, we can do this one together. You're going to need to use distributive property first. You're going to get 20x minus 4 equals 8x plus 8. So again, you need to decide which numbers you want to move which way. So first I'm going to draw my railroad tracks. And here I'm going to add 4 to both sides. So that cancels out. I'm left with 20x equals 8x plus 12. Now I need to get rid of the 8x and move it to the other side. So I do the opposite. So since it is a positive 8x, I'm going to subtract 8x. Twenty minus eight is going to give us twelve x equals. This cancels out. Equals twelve. Divide both sides by twelve. X equals one. If you are still struggling, try to go back and watch the video again. All right. Bye.